like um, like to say um, we had some uh, video difficulties. Our uh, video our recording had froze up, so we're doing a part two now. So we're going to continue on with, with our lecture. So as I was stating earlier previously, mm -hmm. that um, the children of Israel down here at the base of Mount Sinai here, they came out of around Egypt on their journey, okay? 40, 50, 50 day in total, or 47 here, okay? 47 meaning, meaning that, that Moses was called up to Yahweh and he, he told, give him instruct the Moses when they come back down here on the 50th, when they come back down here, the children, the children of Israel is to clean up, okay? For three days, we can make, to make a total of 50, I'm gonna speak down to him, okay? Mm -hmm. Ten Commandments, six hundred and three calling six six hundred and thirteen really judgments, ordinances, and commandments, okay? All right, mm -hmm. according to Exodus uh, uh, twenty, okay? Exodus nineteen, Exodus twenty combined, okay? I want to get that in there, okay? So the point I'm making, that will give it to the to the to the Hebrews or the Judaize only and not to the Gentiles, okay? All right. Once this one had that bread, okay. All right, so continue on. Let's get um, Psalm the 40th chapter from the King James Version, verses 6 to 8, please. Psalm 40, 6 to 8, King James Version. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice and offering thou doest not desire. Right. My ears has died open. Uh -huh. Burn offering and sin offering has died not required. Right. Then said I, then said I, before, so, he, before, he, before I, before he down the cross here, read. Then said I, no, I come in the volume of the book. I come in the volume of the book. I mean the law of the prophet, the old text. That's why I come in the volume of the book. Read on. It is written of me. It's written of me, see. All this, all, all what you were reading about, uh, uh, what down here in Egypt, in the Passover feast, to take out a lamb. Just point to the true lamb. You got me? You got me? He, he, this is the true sacrifice, not the lamb. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is a lamb back here. You know what I'm saying? Talking about? He's that bread for heaven. You listening? Yes. You got me? He's that spiritual water, that spiritual drink. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. The spiritual sacrifice. You know what I'm talking about? The, uh, so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? Um, continue. I delight to do thy will, O my Yahweh, uh -huh. thou, and the law is written in my heart. Right, read. Oh, that was that was it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, what I'll have you read next? I, I Hebrews, got 10. Hebrews 10. Yes, sir. Read Hebrews 10, chapter 4 through 5 uh, from the King James Version, please. I'll say someone take me the first time I said I was saying, keep going. Go ahead. He was 10. Give me 10. Verse 4 through 5. Verse 4 through 5. Come on. Are the King James Version? Yes. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should be served. One. For it is not possible. For it is not possible. Read on. That the blood of bulls and of goats. I'm using this sacrifice. It says sacrifice. It said they put blood of uh, bulls and goats and turtle doves on this altar sin sacrifice in the, in the, in the instead of themselves. Read on. What did he, what did he say? For it is not possible. It's that, not. For it's not possible. Read. That the blood of bulls uh -huh. and of goats and of goats shall take away sin. Read. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, when he cometh into the world, the Messiah, read. He said, he said, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. Uh huh. But a body has thou prepared, prepared. Again, okay. a body, a body has thou prepared for me. I'm mm -hmm. not the body. Mm -hmm. I'm me. Come on. Uh, that was uh, four five. That's it. Yes. Sir. Okay. All right, and also they had to um, when they did the Passover feast down here, mm -hmm. they took the blood and drained and put it in the basin and dipped dip it in the basin and put 
strike the blood on his two side posts, upper door posts, and dip in the basin, right? Make it, make it a cross on the door. You got me? See this cross here? Right? Yes. He used the door. You listening? Yes. The door was pointing to the true door. According to John 10, he said, I am the door. So there you go. He fulfilled all of that. It's all pointing to him. You got me? He fulfilled it. The Old Testament converted to his spirituality now. Now the inside job and not an outer job, okay? Not a physical job, but spiritual. You got me? Operation going on now. You listening? Yes. All right. I want to give from me what you got next. Going down the list. Colossians 2, 10 through 15. Hold your name by. Go ahead and read, please. Colossians 2, 10 through 15. Uh, Holy Name Bible. Oh, and ye and ye are complete in him, which he which he is the head of all principality. Okay, now we are complete in him. Like I said, this physical body was taken off the cross, buried in those new tomb, consumed there, and resurrected quicker than spirit. Okay, now he in his supreme corporeal form, glorified form, he said that we are completely him now, spiritually, psychologically now. You got me? Okay. Way to receive our glorified by aligning to his, okay? Read on. And you and you are completely in him. We are completely in him. Read. Which is the head of all principles. He's the head of the corner. He's the head of the assembly. You got me? He's the head of the true church. You know what I'm saying? Talking about he's the head. Read. And power. And who also ye are uh, circumcised with the circumcision made with our hands. See, we was now now with success circumcision here, like I said, the male penis on the eighth day. Now on this side of the cross, we we circumcised with the circumcision made with our hands. See how I go? Mm -hmm. Read. And putting out the body of sin uh -huh. of the flesh yeah. by the circumcision of the Messiah. Read. Buried with him by in, by baptism. By see, baptism. Read. Where, where, and also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of Yahweh. All right, read. Who has risen him from the dead. Read. And you being dead in your sin. When, when we being dead in our sin, read. And the uncircumcision of your flesh. See, uncircumcision of our flesh. We he, call the mind, read. Has he quickened together? He has quickened. He has quickened these mortal or quickened these souls back to life now. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Read on. Haven't forgiven you. Uh, These are trespasses on this side of the cross of Yahweh. The trespass, read. Blotting out of the handwriting of the See, blotting out of the handwriting. See the hand here? Calling the order. See, it was blotted out by this act right here. Read. Brought to, brought to an end, not destroyed, and converted to a spirituality. Now, read on. Come on. Blotting out of the handwriting of the Lord. Uh huh. That was against it us. It was against us. People read. Which was contrary to it was us. Contrary to us. Read. And took it out of the way. And took it out of the way. See, read. Now it to his cross. See, now the court of orders is the physical sacrifices, physical circumcision, physical ceremonies, water baptism, Passover feast, the only called Lord's Supper, Ten Commandment Law, truly 613. You understand what I'm talking about? Another two would call move out of the way. Read. And Having spoiled principalities, having spoiled principalities and the power. modern forces by doing this, read. And power. Uh huh. He made a show of them openly. He made a show of them openly, read. Triumphing over them in it. Triumphing, winning over them in it. Is that it? Yes. Sir. All right. Thank you, reader. Get from me in the Hebrew six. Yes, the Hebrew six one through one Yes. Holy name. Uh huh. Okay. So, we have read. Hebrews 6, 1 through 3, out of the Corinthian Bible. Therefore, leaving the beginning of the doctrine of the Messiah, let us go on into perfection. All right, let us go on to perfection now. Read. Not laying again the foundation. Not laying, of, not laying again the foundation. Of repentance. Uh -huh. From the works of dead. Read. And of faith towards Yahweh. Uh-huh. Of the doctrine of baptism, uh -huh. and laying on of hands, Read. and the resurrection of the dead, uh -huh. and of eternal judgment. And this will we do, if Yahweh permit. All right. 
Okay. So now you have a couple more. Yes. What do you have? I have uh, Hebrew nine and Hebrews nine and ten. Read the Hebrew nine and ten and give Romans ten and four. Nine and ten. Hebrews nine and ten are the king came. I mean, out of the holy Bible. Uh huh. We're still only in meal drink, meal and drink offering. We're still only in meal and drink offering. Read it. Come on. And very portion. Uh huh. Call the orders. Yeah, call the orders. Read. On them. Or uh, on them. Who? Them? The 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 not a Gentile. Read. Until the time of reformation. Until the time of reformation. Read. Is that it? Yes, sir. All right. Romans 10 and 4. Romans 10 and 4. I'm going to invite you. Well, the Messiah is the end of the sacrificial law. So the Messiah is the end of the sacrificial law. Read. For the obtaining of righteousness. For the obtaining of righteousness. Read. To everyone that believes. To everyone that believes. All right. Um. So we got we uh we a little further there. It's just say to the Jews first something. What does it say after that? Okay. Um, Romans 10. Okay. Come on. Okay. Um, Romans 10 and 4. Okay, Romans 10 and 4. What does it say in verse 5? Okay. For Moses um, described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteous which is the faith spoken by, by this wife, saying, Not in thy heart, who shall Ascent unto heaven. That's good. That's good. But later on down in Romans 10 and 12, it says, uh, in the Holy Name Bible, it says, uh, But there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, but the Jew and the Gentile. See, for the same Elohim over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you, reader. Now, give from me um, Galatians 4 and 4. Galatians 4 and 4, uh, plain and Bible. Mm -hmm. But when the fullness of the time was come, uh -huh. Yahshua sent forth his son. Who? Let me see. Uh, Galatians 4 and 4, plain and Bible. But when the fullness of time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son. Yahweh sent forth his son. Made of a woman. Uh -huh. Made subject to the law. Uh huh. To redeem them that was under the law, Read. that we might receive the adoption of sons. Uh -huh. And because ye are sons of Yahweh, uh -huh. has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. All right. To our hearts. Uh -huh. Christ, Abba, Father, Abba, my Father. All right, that's good. Okay. Well, now I'm going to write down. Um, um, Let's see, First uh, Corinthians twelve and thirteen. Okay. Colossians one and thirteen. Second Corinthians five and seventeen. Huh? Second Corinthians five and seventeen. Romans fourteen and seventeen. Romans. Romans. 14 and 17, 1 Peter 2 and 5. Okay, Galatians 6 and 8, and Romans 8 and 2. Okay, Romans 8 and 2. Yeah, just a second here. Uh, I want you to get, uh, let's see here. Uh, Give Matthew 1 and 20. 1, 1 and 20, verse 21. We 
weekend now. Come on, man. Go ahead. Matthew 1 and 20 and 21 out of one name Bible. Uh -huh. But while he talked, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh. Now why he but now why he thought on these things? Mm -hmm. Now it said the angel of what? The angel of Yahweh appeared unto him. Now the angel of Yahweh appeared to who? Appeared to Joseph. Okay, in the dream. Now the angel he's speaking of is that is that messenger angel, which his name is Gabriel. Okay, okay. so he, he he's appearing to him in the dream or 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 the divine vision to Joseph. Okay, and this is what he's saying to him. Read on. Uh, because the angel of Yahweh appeared to him in a dream, saying, "Joseph, uh -huh. thy son of David, right. fear not, uh -huh. and take upon thee um, Mariah." No, I mean, uh, come on, Miriam. Miriam. Thy right, but that which is Start it over again, read okay. it again. Okay. He, he, uh, Matthew but, 1 and 20. Yes, Matthew 1 and 20. Holy name by Read. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, uh -huh. saying, Joseph, Joseph, thy son of David, read. Fear not, fear not, and take upon thee, Mary, thy wife, uh -huh. for that which is conceived. In her is and, and for that which is conceived in her, mm -hmm. meaning in Miriam, is of the Holy Spirit. Is of the Holy Spirit is of Yahshua. So in other words, her pregnancy that he that he revealing to Joseph in a dream or a divine vision, right? He was saying truly that you you and her ain't got nothing to do with this. You got me? It didn't come by no physical intercourse. You got me? You got me? It was impregnated. In her by Yahshua or by Yahweh, you got me? He said the Holy Spirit. And then what he said? Yeah. Yahshua, right? Yeah. You got me? Read. And she shall bring forth a son mm -hmm. and have, shall call his name Yahshua. All right, so he said, since he would conceive, he's going to conceive, right? Mm -hmm. So, see, this is this right here, this 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 cloud right here, mm -hmm. like the universal womb of Yahweh. You got me? Conception took place here. You listening? It's like a universal womb. Yahweh took on shaking for me. You got me? You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. That's what came forth. That was like a birth. You listening? You got me? Yes. Now it's this is fulfillment. Read. Come on. And I shall call his name Yahshua, uh -huh. for he shall save the people from their sins. All right, so I go. That, 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 you need to pick that same light up. We're talking all over there in Galatians 4 and 4. So I go. They're going, uh, going, in, uh, going in order. First, uh, First Corinthians 12 and 13. 13. Uh huh. First Corinthians 12 and 13, I don't put it in your Bible. Read on. For by one spirit are we all emerged. See, by one spirit, see, I'll just put this right here. By one spirit are we all baptized. Read. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Into one body. Read. Whether we be Jews or Greeks. There you go. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. See how I go? Read. Whether we be born or free, Read. and have been all made to drink unto one spirit. See, we've been all made to drink. See, not no, not not no, not no grape juice. You got me. Not no physical drink, but a spiritual drink. You got me. Mm -hmm. All made to drink. You got me. Yes. Spiritual drink now. You got me. Not no crackers and grape juice. Not no physical eating and drinking on this side of the cross. Now, you got me. Yes. <clears throat> all right. Going to get um, Colossians one and thirteen. Remember, for go uh, at thirty-five minutes. Okay. Read on. Colossians one and thirteen. Uh -huh. I don't even know. Uh huh. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? And Read. has and has translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son. Uh huh. Is that yes. it? Yes. Sir. All right. Second Corinthians five and seventeen.
In other words, in other words, we we was in darkness to to to, to the reality of what we were doing. You got know I me? Mean? Mm-hmm. Now we now after his death, death resurrection, yes. ascension out for the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? He, we have received his spirit. You know what I mean? And to our soul, we cry out the Father. Mm-hmm. You got know I me? Mean? Mm-hmm. Now we've been enlightened or have been revealed what it was what it's all was really talking about. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Or what we were doing. You got know I me? Mean? Out of ignorance. I mean, we we in the dark. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we have to deliver us from our darkness. Mm-hmm. Read. Oh, second Corinthians. Five and seventeen. I will read your Bible. Read on. Therefore, if any man be in the Messiah, uh-huh. he is a new creature. Yeah. Old things are passed away. Uh huh. Behold, all things are become new. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, Romans fourteen and seventeen. Romans 14 and 17. I will read the Bible. Uh-huh. For the kingdom of Yahweh is not eaten and drinking. See, the kingdom of Yahweh is not Passover feast and Lord's Supper. You understand what I'm talking about? It ain't that. Read. For the kingdom of Yahweh is not eaten and drinking. It's not eaten and drinking Passover feast and Lord's Supper. But righteousness and peace. Enjoy in the Holy Spirit. All right, that's what righteousness is. That's what the kingdom is. You understand? In you. You got me? That was the kingdom of Yahshua. Now we're on spiritual spiritual sacrifices, okay? Which is first Peter two and five. First Peter two and five. I'll read in the Bible. Uh-huh. Ye also, ye also. As living stones are built up in spiritual house. We are built up a spiritual house now. Read. Come on. A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. To offer a spiritual sacrifice. To offer a spiritual sacrifice. Read on. Acceptable to Yahweh uh-huh. by Yahshua and the Son. Uh-huh. Thank you. Now I'll get Galatians 6 and 8. Yeah, not, to, not to take commandment law now, or 613, now with the law of the Spirit now. Read. Galatians 6 and 8. I'm pointing in the Bible. Uh-huh. For he that soweth to his flesh shall, shall of the flesh reap. See, he that soweth to his flesh, he will, we, he will, we got again, start over. Galatians 6 and 8, holy name Bible, what does it say? For he that soweth to his flesh. But he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Shall of the flesh reap corruption. Reap corruption. Read. But he that soweth to the spirit. But he, but he that soweth to the inner man or to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. All right. That's what we talking about. See how many of you listen? Yes. Romans 8 and 2. Romans 82. Romans 82. Mm-hmm. Put in that Bible. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua the Messiah uh-huh. has made me free. Have made us free or made me free. From the law of sin and death. All right. From the law of sin and death. Shall I go? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see, get a few more here. Um, yeah, talking about the spiritual spiritual drink now. Go on and get um, um, uh, Colossians, I mean not Colossians, 1 Corinthians 10, uh-huh, verse 1 through 4. And then jump right over there. All right, yeah, uh, yeah, First Corinthians 10, 1 through 4. And then I want you to get over here in um, Numbers. Let's see here. Uh, numbers. We'll get right to it. Uh,
Oh, go ahead and read, please. Go ahead and read. First Corinthians 10. Yeah. First Corinthians 10, uh, verse 4, uh, out of the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. Moreover, brother, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. That all our fathers under the cloud, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. cloud that led them, okay, mm -hmm. um, under the cloud it says, the cloud that led them, it's according to Exodus 23, verse 20 through 20, uh, 23. Go ahead and read. Start that back over. Okay. First Corinthians 10 and start at verse 1. I would never. Moreover, brother, I would not that ye shall be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud, uh -huh. and all passed through the sea, uh -huh. and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Uh -huh. And did all eat the same spiritual food? And see, all did eat the same spiritual food. And say all ate the same physical food. Read. And did all drink the same spiritual food? All right, so all did drink the, the same spiritual drink. So they ate spiritually and drank spiritually. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing now inside of the park. You listen it? Read. For they drunk of that spiritual rock. They drunk of that spiritual rock. Read. That went with them. That really truly led them. That cloud, read. And that rock was the Messiah. And that rock was Yahshua the Messiah. Back in the children of Israel. Okay? Alright? That was Yahshua, the son of Nun. Okay? Down there in Egypt. All the law was with them all the time. You understand? Sure. Okay? Oh, and now I want you to get from me Numbers 20th chapter. Okay. Verse 5. Exodus, I mean, Numbers 20 and 5 start to evolve me down to uh, verse 11. Okay, go ahead. Numbers 20 and 5 out of 1 and Bible. Mm -hmm. And wherefore have you made us to come up? Out of Egypt uh -huh. to bring us in unto this evil place. Uh -huh. It is no place of seed or of pig okay. or of vine uh -huh. or of pomegranate. Uh -huh. Neither is there any water to drink. Neither is there any water to drink. Read. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly uh -huh. unto the door of the meeting to uh -huh. the other congregation, uh -huh. and they fell upon their face to. And the glory of Yahweh appeared unto them. Uh -huh. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod. And take the rod. See? Take the rod you got in your hand. Come on. Take the rod and gather thy assembly together. Uh -huh. Thou and Aaron, thy brother, uh -huh. and speak ye unto the rock. Uh, speak to the rock. Before their eyes. Uh -huh. And it shall give forth water. Uh -huh. And thou shalt bring forth to them water uh -huh. out of the rock. Read. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beast strength. Uh -huh. And Moses took the rod from before Yahweh uh -huh. as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together uh -huh. before the rock and uh -huh. said unto them, uh -huh. Here now, ye rebels, must, ye fetch, must we fetch you water out of this rock? That we fetch you water. Fetch you water out of this rock, read. And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock. Now he lifted up his hand, and with the rod he smote, or smite, or striked the rock. See, he is also called the rock, he's also called the door, he's also called the lamb. See how I go? The rock back here was pointing to the true rock, the lamb back there was pointing to the true lamb. You understand know what I'm talking about? He is the living water. You listening? Yeah. He is the breath in heaven. Shall I go? Yeah. You understand? Know yeah. His blood uh, uh, washed the way our sins. You understand? Know talking about not the blood of lambs and bulls back. You say I go? <laughs> Fulfill all that. You say I go? Yeah. You listening? Yeah. All right. Read on. 
So yeah. you like they struck the had to strike the two side posts, mm -hmm. had to strike it, had to strike the door. Remember when they put the crowns on his head and, and nailed his feet in his hand? Mm -hmm. They striked it on there. Listening mm -hmm. to fulfill the striking back here. So I go. He said, "I'm coming to fulfill." Listening, mm -hmm. not to destroy. I can't destroy because I got to fulfill it. Why? Because it's all talking and pointing to me. Listening. Mm -hmm. Read. And Moses lifted up his hand, and with the rod he smote the rock. Uh -huh. And the water came out abundantly. And the water came out abundantly. That 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 that, that, that living water. Read on. And the congregation drunk, and their beasts are drunk. Uh huh. That's some good stuff. All right. Uh, Yahweh, leave me here. Um, look at that one. Okay, let's go to um, um, let's go to Matthew ten. Okay, um. Matthew, I mean, uh, John 4, John. and started verse. Uh, you want Matthew or John? I mean, John, sorry. Uh, John, yes, you John. John, the, uh, the fourth chapter, okay. and started verse um, 8, mm -hmm. all the way down to verse um, um, uh, verse 14 in my opinion. Oh, I'll right there. Go ahead and read, please. And go way down to uh, 14. 14. Go ahead and read. Go ahead and read, Bible. Mm -hmm. John 4 and 8. I'll go ahead and read, Bible. There cometh a woman from Samaria, uh -huh. from a water. Yahshua said unto her, Give me a drink. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, as a drunk? Drink of me, uh -huh. which am of a woman of Samaria. Jews have no dealing with the Samaria. Uh -huh. Yahshua answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of Elohim, and who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, uh -huh. thou wouldest have asked of him, and he should have given thee living water. Uh -huh. The woman said unto him, Sir, Thou hast nothing to draw with, uh -huh. and the well is deep. Uh -huh. From whence then hast thou that living water? Yeah. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, uh -huh. who gave us the well to drink thereof uh -huh. himself, uh -huh. and his children, and his cattle? Mm -hmm. Joshua answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh this water. Now, remember now, he fulfilled that. Remember now, remember now, remember, uh, Moses was like this well, well out here. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. Read on. Come on. Uh, whosoever drinketh of this water well, shall thirst again. No, no, whoever shall drink of this water mm -hmm. shall thirst again. Well, out of the water from the well. Mm -hmm. That physical water. You shall always be thirsty. Read. But whosoever drinketh of the water. That I shall give you. Now, whoever should drink of the water that I should give you, read. Shall never thirst. Shall never thirst. But the water that I give him shall be in him. That's, that, that, that's going to be that, that spirit in you, right? Read. A well uh -huh. of water. A well of water. So we got a well. Of, we got a well of water in us. We got. We got a well of the Holy Spirit. Joshua is hard with now. Read on. We got to learn to tap into that well. Everything that we need is inside that well. You got me? Read. Let me read that again. Yeah. But. Whosoever drinketh of this water yeah. that I shall give him uh -huh. shall never thirst. Right. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him. Read. A well a, of water. A, a well. Bring it up <laughs> into everlasting life. Read. That's 14? Yes. All right. That's good. Hallelujah. I, I enjoyed that right there. There's one more. 
will be fulfilling. Let's get one more here. Oh. Now we're good. Still one good. Uh, let's see here. How we doing here? Okay, let me see. Yeah, let's get uh, John six chapters. Stay right here. You already wrote it down. So already good. We already just write it. Read. Already wrote it down. John six. Um, let's see here. Yeah, John 6 and 48, start here. All right, go all the way down to um, verse 63. You're going to end right here. Okay? Okay, you see it? Mm-hmm. You're right there. Go ahead and read this. John 6 and 48, I'm putting in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I am that bread of life. I am that bread of life. Not that bread that came down. The man that, that dropped down from heaven back here in, in, under the old covenant. When he was the type, see? It, it's all talking about me. See? I'm feeling it. Read. Start it over again, please. All right. John 6 and 48, I'm going to name five. Read. I am that bread of life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna uh -huh. in the wilderness uh -huh. and did and are dead. They, they did. <laughs> <laughs> By, by eating one of the bread. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, the best bread there is. He said they all, they, they, they died off. Read. And it came down from heaven, too. Read. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven. Now, I am the bread, or this is the bread that comes down from heaven. I'm using that pictorial illustration. You got me? Because mm -hmm. this is before he got on the cross here. You got me? Mm -hmm. But truly, but still at all, he, he, you know what I mean? He, he, he's eating the same in or out of the physical body. You got me? Meaning the spirit. You got me? He's the true bread. He's the true intercessor. He's the, you got me? He's the uh, uh, the, the, the living water. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He's the bread of life. So forth and so on. Read on. This is the bread which coming down from heaven. Uh -huh. That a man may eat thereof and not die. All right, read. I am the living bread I, which comes down I, from heaven. I am the living bread that comes down from where? From heaven. All right. If any man eat of this bread, if any man eat of this bread, not eat of, uh, not eat of the bread, bread on the market, none of that woman's bread, you got me, or kill Patrick's bread, you listen to what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. None of that bread. Read. He shall live. Or not cracker than grape juice. You got me on a Passover feast. Not, not that. Read. He shall live. He shall live. And the bread which I will give. Is my flesh. All right. Which I will give for the life of the world. Uh huh. The Jews therefore strove against themselves, saying, How can this man give us uh, give us his flesh to eat? Uh huh. Then Yahshua said unto them, Very good, I say unto you. Yeah. Except ye eat of the flesh of the Son of Man uh -huh. and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Uh huh. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has every he has eternal life. Uh -huh. And I will raise him up at the last day. Read. For my flesh is food indeed. Uh -huh. And my blood is drink indeed. Uh -huh. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me. Now we now you know the satanic spirit in the religion leaders take these Lord's suppers in 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 passable peace, right? Mm -hmm. And do transubstantiation like hocus pocus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like a dead body covered with that sheet they're doing every first of the month. Mm -hmm. that, that sheet over, over the cracker and grape juice, right? Like a dead body rolled up here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Or do truck go do transubstantiation, right? Say this is the actual flesh and body of Christ, and this grape juice is now hocus pocus. I'm gonna turn into the actual blood. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That ain't what he was talking about. Say I got some carnal mind, you got me? Mm -hmm. Doing now on this side of the cross, they, they ain't the reality what he was talking about. You listen to what I'm saying? Yes. You hear me? That, 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 what that sound? That's demonic, ain't it? Yes. Yes. You don't actually eat some blood, drink some blood, or eat some physical body flesh? Ain't that so? Mm -hmm. 
That's, that's a natural brute beast, right? You see them animal shows we watch? Mm -hmm. How them lions, they, 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 catch, they catch them, that prey? Mm -hmm. That prey is flesh or physical, carnal. <coughs> you listening? Mm -hmm. Got blood coming out of it, right? Mm -hmm. you got, they have blood on their face, get to eating that stuff, eating that flesh, is that right? Mm -hmm. and, that, and that beast was alive. We don't we don't capture our food like that, do we? You listen to what I'm talking about? They're gonna so we're gonna take this take this cracker and trust and transup that you ate, right? Mm -hmm. This cracker into a into the physical body. Mm -hmm. They're gonna take this grape juice and trans transup that creation, hocus pocus, right? Into blood. You got me? Mm -hmm. You doing what them, you doing what them beasts doing out there in, 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 in the world. Ain't that something? Or in the jungle. Ain't that something? You see how I go? That's what they're doing. Read. He that eateth my flesh and that's, that's like, my See, they incorporate that type of stuff in their religion. You listening? But then what are you talking about? He's going to tell you what he's what he talking about. Read. Love and me, and I am him. Uh -huh. As the living father has sent me. As the living father has sent me, read. And I live by the father. Uh -huh. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Read. This is the bread which come down from heaven. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Read. Not as thy fathers did eat manna and are dead. Uh -huh. He that is of this bread shall live forever. Now I'm not using this pictorial illustration because I'm using this pictorial illustration. He's speaking of him while he's in a physical body, but the spirit is coming through the body. That's, that's what really, that's what he, that's what he really is dealing with. He's dealing with the spirit man. You got me? Mm -hmm. And not. The physical man or the outer man. You listening? Read on. These things he said in the synagogue uh -huh. as he taught by, as he taught in uh, Capernaum. Oh, Capernaum. Capernaum. Read. Many thereof of our disciples, when many therefore of the disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Can we, who can hear it? Uh huh. When Joshua knew in himself that his disciples murmured at uh, it, uh -huh. he said unto them, Do it this often, uh -huh. often you. Come on. What, what, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. Right, we see he ascend, see, where he was before. You see what I'm talking about? That's just the thing he's in now. Okay? He's in the ascending state right now. You got me? Mm -hmm. Read. It is the spirit that quickens the flesh. It's the spirit that quickens the flesh. Not flesh don't quicken no physical physical flesh. You know, blood cannot quicken anything. You got me? Read. But he said the flesh perfect. Now see, the flesh or the carnal the carnal ordinances or the carnal works. On this side of the cross, it, it, it don't profit your soul nothing. Read. But ye say the flesh profit nothing. Right. The word that I speak unto you. See, the word that I speak unto you. See, he's speaking to them. Mm -hmm. the, why they say he, he's speaking to them? They see, he's speaking to them. He's using something physical to understand something spiritual. So he said he's speaking to them how? Read. Don't come on. But, but ye say the flesh profits nothing. Right. But the words that I speak. The word that I speak. What about you? They are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. They are life. They are spirit and they are life. They are not physical. They are not carnal. You got me? The word that I speak. Yash Messiah is saying that. They are spirit and they are life. You see how I go? You listen? Yes. So now on this side of the cross, we are truly eating. And drawing from that from that well, you got what I'm saying? Abundance, or whatever it, is, whatever it is you need to tap into, you got me? Yes. Yeah, that well overflowing, you got me? With, with all that you need, you got me? Just tap into the substance because it's all it's in you. You got me? You're now eating, drink. We're now we're now eating spiritually and drinking spiritually now in the kingdom of Yahshua Messiah. You got anything other than things? At this evening's lecture, all praises and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh Elgin, through his son, our Savior, Redeemer, and brother, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. And that will conclude another evening's uh, lecture given by the Omaha class meetings here in Omaha, Nebraska. Are there any questions or are there any comments?
prophet uh, Yahshua Sai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beautiful class. Thank you, Yahshua Sai. Yes. Um, we hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha class meetings on, on Fridays from, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And um, if you'd like to attend a class here, you can contact us by email. Our email address is yashua47 at gmail.com. Once again, Yahshua spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A 47 at gmail.com. Leave a detailed email concerning the day and time you'd like to attend a class here. These are free lectures. Okay, may y'all to the side bless you. Also, you can contact us by 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 uh, voicemail by by dialing by dialing our phones. Area code four zero two for Dr. Stefan Williams. Area code four zero two nine seven three eight nine eight seven, or for Dr. Rapunzel Williams. Area code four zero two six zero nine six five eight eight. Leave us a detailed email or voicemail concerning the day and time that you'd like to come. And have class with us, um, Yahweh willing. Also, uh, we upload our uh, class videos at every class. You can find our class videos. You go to YouTube, search, put in Omaha class meetings, or also IVMR Omaha, and ask Yahshua Messiah to lead and direct and guide you to the video that they all have that they already have prepared for you to watch before the foundation of the world. And um, Last but not least, let's all stand for the doxology. Our doxology can be found in the King James Version of one Bible under the book of Jude, spelled J-U-D-E, verse 24 and verse 25, also in the, in the Holy Name Version of one Bible under the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H, same verses, verse 24 and verse 25. Now to him, that is able to keep you from falling and present you falling for the presence of the glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Elohim, my Savior, who Yahshua Messiah, our sovereign, belong in glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah!